response for the free response. So we had this exercise to be solved using the Newton second law for rotation. So the exercise says, find the response of a rotor that is mounted in bearings as shown in the figure here. The figure is in your textbook. The moment of inertia of the rotor about the axis of rotation is J. The friction in bearings is viscous friction B. No external torque is applied to the rotor. So since there is no external torque applied to the rotor, it means that the vibration is free and it is uh, due to initial conditions. So which means you give initial rotation to the bearing like this, and then it start rotating because of the presence of uh, the damping or the friction, we we expect the motion to uh, to you know, move, but after some times it will die. So if we draw the free body diagram and we look from here, if you, your eye is your eyes is here, methylen, and you are looking from this side, you will see the <clears throat> the rotor here. The motion is in this direction. This is the posi positive uh, direction or positive omega, and then the friction force, which is B omega, or simply, we can write it if you want, since it does with the velocity, this one can be written as B theta dot. So if we write Newton's second law, it says sigma moment is equal to J times theta double dot. Since theta double dot is simply, since we have Shabab, this one, we have omega equal theta dot, we can say omega dot equal theta double dot. So we substitute omega theta double dot by omega dot here. And here, the initial conditions, we are giving a value, omega zero at time t is equal to zero. <clears throat> and then we sum up all the uh, works or all the torque here we have or the moment. What do we have? If we look here, we have minus b omega dot equal to or minus b theta dot in fact is minus b theta dot is equal to j theta double dot or simply you can write it like this j theta double dot plus b theta dot is equal to theta dot is equal to zero you substitute theta dot by omega and theta double dot by omega dot, you will find the following. You will find that your equation is in this form. J, instead of theta dot, theta double dot, I will write it J omega dot plus B theta dot. Instead of theta dot, I will substitute it by B omega is equal to zero. And this is the equation that we found here. This is your equation. You can uh, further simplify it or write it in standard form. The standard form is to leave the coefficient of the first derivative, the coefficient of the first derivative equal to unity. That's why we're writing it omega dot plus b over g omega is equal to zero, or like this one. In more standard form of the first order system, because this one is nothing but it is ordinary differential equation of a first order because it has the first derivative. So this one is ordinary, ordinary. Uh, we can write it like this first order, this one, first order, ordinary differential equation, differential equation. In standard form, we write it like this, omega dot plus one over tau omega is equal to zero. When, where one over tau is simply uh, called uh, j uh, tau, here is j over b, and it is known as the time constant. You know. Now, if we just take Shabab Laplace transform of this equation, we took Laplace transform of this equation, we will say s omega s plus uh, minus omega zero, this is the initial conditions, plus one over tau omega s equal to zero. If you take omega s common, so you will have 
S plus one over tau omega S, which is equal to omega zero. You take omega zero the other side. So we need to solve for omega s. So omega s will be simply omega naught over s plus one over tau. In the next slide, we will see you. We will uh, sh show you this slide here. So this is what we got here. Now. Omega s will be equal to omega naught over s plus one over tau. Omega naught is the initial uh, velocity, initial angular velocity at time t is equal to zero. Initial angular velocity and tau is constant which is equal to b over g we define it to be b over g now this uh, since this one we can write it here now this the denominator as you can see is known as the characteristic polynomial because it will give you the characteristic of your system your system contains b and g and tau is function of b and g and if you solve the equation S plus one over tau is equal to zero, this will be a characteristic equation. S plus one over tau equal to zero is called characteristic equation. Now, if we take the inverse Laplace transform of this one, simply it will be omega naught exponential minus tau uh, t over tau. And this is it. So the inverse Laplace transform will give you omega zero, this is the initial value that is starting from here. This is the initial value you gave. And then exponential minus t over tau, it will be a decaying function in this form. I'm calling here also one over tau, I'm calling it alpha. So that uh, alpha, when alpha is equal to zero, this will be a constant omega naught. And then when omega is decaying or increasing alpha, this is what will happen, Shabab. This is what will happen. So your system will go faster and faster. It's obviously, I need a physical meaning. When you turn your rotor like this, you have bearings here, bearings here, and you have, this is the cylinder, bearings here. And you give small rotation. It will rotate few rotation or even less than one single rotation. And then it will stop. And this is what it is doing. Exponentially, it's decaying exponentially. So it's clear that the angular velocity decreases exponentially as shown because of the presence of the damping, because we have damping or because we have friction. Since the limit exponential minus one over tau t is equal, then for such decaying system, it is convenient to depict the response in terms of the time constant. Yani sometimes the time constant tell you how fast this one will go to the steady state value or to the, uh, to the zero value. So since this is uh, uh, time constant is important to, uh, to characterize the property of the system, the time constant is the value that makes the exponential equal to minus one. Or it's known as uh, the time taken for the output to raise to, uh, or to decay to 37% of its final value. If you look here to the graph, the time constant Shabab here is at this point. And this will give you the time constant. At this value of the time constant, the response is at 37% of its original value. If this is omega naught, the starting point, the initial value, so the uh, time constant will make, will decay the response, the response will decay at 37%, or exactly at 36.8. 36.8 is almost 37%. So all we have to do is to take exponential minus t over tau is equal to uh, exponential minus one. And this occur when we have this, or when we have 36.8. So the time constant will be the value at which the response, the free response, remember, this is the free response. This is due to the initial conditions. Initial conditions, you give it at time t is equal to zero, which is this one. This is the initial condition. You give a value and then it will decay. The time constant is a property of the system for which the system decay to 36.8% here 
at this value. How to determine this value? This is, you take 36.8% of the original uh, value and you will get it. Or what you will do, you will do, uh, you will draw a tangent, Shabab. You will draw a tangent at the origin. This is the origin here at omega naught. You draw a your tangent. The origin is here. You draw a tangent here. The tangent will look something like this. It will cross the uh, x-axis at this point. At this, this is called tau. You draw a perpendicular line. It cross the response at one point. This is the 37 point, uh, the 37 percent omega naught. This is how to get tau. Two tau is to draw a tangent at this one here. So this one will be two tau. At this point here, you draw a ten, another tangent. This will be three tau. At this point here, you draw a tangent. This will be four tau, and so on. So this one will be decaying like this one. Uh, so at omega tau, the response is 0.37 here. At four tau, when omega when t is equal to four tau, the response will decay to two percent, and the response will be a value of two percent at this point for tau it will be at 2%, 0.02 omega. This is how to find the value of the time constant. The time constant is a characteristic for the system, how fast it will decay. Okay, Shabab, any question before I move to the next slide? So this is for the first order system. We finished with it. Let me just show you. I have a small demo if I can get it. This one, I will try to get it from here, from my notes. It's better. I'll show it to you how the system is decaying. <clears throat> Are you with me, Shabab? Today, I did not hear any one of you. Yes, we are in. Uh, yes, we are in. Uh, yeah, it's the first order system. Remember, for the free response, it decay at the constant, it decay to 37. Let me just show you a small demo how to uh, yani, analyze this or how to show it. I hope it will work. Control C. I don't know, last time, uh, one of your he told me to do this and this. I don't remember uh, to share to share the screen. Okay. Uh, what do we share it on the screen? Yeah, but just one minute. Uh, it's a little bit. Mm -hmm. It says Adobe uh, done. It says Adobe. Uh, let me just manage. Okay. Okay. Inshallah, it will work, Shabab. I will say share the screen. Or share, let me just hear. Share application. Not this one, I don't want to share this one. Do you see anything, Shabab? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah.
Okay, do you see this one, Shabab? The... Yes, the plot. Yeah, the plot. This plot, you see it? Shufu Shabab, here, this is the free response. You see the plot here? This is the free response, and this is tau. How calculate tau is the green one, the point one. So you draw a tangent here. You draw a tangent, and this will be your plot. This is the original, and then see your plot. If you increase tau, see how it will go to the uh, uh, to the steady state. It will take more time. So the units of tau is time, since it is time constant. We are writing it in this form, x dot plus 1 over tau x is equal to ft over tau. Here we have original, we have ft is equal to 0, but we have uh, initial condition, which is x 0. In our case, it's omega 0. OK, Shabab? So this is how uh, you see increasing tau, how the graph varies with tau. Every, everyone sees what I am showing here, Shabab? Yes, doctor. OK, shukran. Shukran. So this is this is how to play with the initial conditions. These are the initial conditions x zero because you know we have one on only initial conditions. You draw Shabab, remember because you will be I will be asking you a question in either in the quiz or in the first major exam to find what is the time constant. You draw for the free response. This is free response as you can see. We are putting f of x is equal to zero. So remember, you draw a tangent, you know, you draw a tangent. When it crosses uh, the t-axis, this will be your tau. Now, if you draw a perpendicular, if you draw a perpendicular uh, line, if you draw a perpendicular line here, this one here, perpendicular, it will cross here. This will represent 37% of the x0. So let's go back to our uh, business, to our notes. where we were here, I think. So now, Shabab, we will see another type of uh, Newton second law. This was for uh, rotation, uh, free, uh, free rotation. Uh, now we will see a translation, how we can manage for translation. For translation, Shabab, we will bring the spring, the spring and mass system here. We just have spring and then a mass system here. I want you to pay attention because a little bit uh, this one requires your attention more than uh, what is usually. Shabab, here, what we have, we have the spring, uh, the spring uh, that is attached to a mass here, and then we see the vibrational motion of the system. So to draw the vibrational motion for the system, we will do the following. You know, we draw uh, the uh, system, mass spring damper system. This is our spring, and this is our mass. Wadah, Shabab? Is it clear? Now, before this, if we bring the screen, I'm looking for a page that is a little bit empty. Okay. You know, Shabab, we have the spring here. When we draw the free body diagram, the, the spring has a uh, length L0, or yeah, the L0. The spring has free length L0. Free length L0. So if we take the spring just from this side here, we draw the spring alone. The free length of the spring is L0. I did not put the mass yet, okay? I did not put the mass yet. Uh, the mass yet. Now I will put the mass. The spring get elongated, with uh, and this is the weight mg. And this is the elongation of the spring. The spring was L naught. Now it is delta static. Delta s. I'm calling it delta s. Static deflection. Okay. Now, if I draw the free body diagram, the free body diagram here, there is no motion, but I will draw the free body diagram. The forces acting here are the weight and the static deflection of the spring. These are the uh, two forces acting on this system. 
Now, if I write in Newton's second law, it is still static, Shababa. It's still static means a new sigma force is equal to zero. Zero, no, there is nothing, there is no motion. Just I put my mass, the spring get a little bit uh, deflected with amount delta static. So I will have mg equal or minus k delta static equal to zero. So mg minus k delta static is equal to zero. So this is my equation here. Or from this equation, I can say, I can say mg, mg or here mg equal to k delta static. And this is called the condition for equilibrium. The condition for equilibrium now, because when you spring has a length L naught and you put a mass, it gets a little bit elongated and then it will stay there. Now, if I push it a little bit down, if I push it a little bit down, the, if I push it a little bit down by an amount of X, so this is what I will have. So I will have the force here, Mg, and then here I will have K. Now, this is, a delta static plus x because I will push it a little bit by an amount x which is this one Shabab. So k x delta and then mg I will have this one. Now if I write my Newton second law, if I write my Newton second law I will repeat this equation here or I will repeat the free body diagram. The free body diagram is here now. This is mg. And this is, I have now K, the elongation of the spring is the original elongation delta static, plus the small amount that I have put here, X. Yeah. So Mg, okay, delta static plus X. Now, if I write Newton's second law here, sigma force is equal to mass times acceleration. This will give me, minus the and no i push it down this is the positive direction plus x so i will have minus k delta static plus x equal to mx double dot plus mg and minus mg here minus mg because i have mg here or plus mg sorry plus mg here now i will arrange this equation if i arrange this equation I will get this, minus k, x plus delta plus mg, which is the weight. But remember, Shabab, this equation, minus k, x plus delta mg is equal to zero. We found it from the beginning. From the, the beginning, we said that this is called the static uh, equilibrium condition, the static equilibrium condition. If this term is equal to zero, static equilibrium, Manetu, I will end up by having this equation, x double dot plus k over mx is equal to zero. And this is your equation of motion. This is your equation of motion. It's x double dot plus k over m is equal to x. I'll show you something. I don't know if it's working. So how the spring uh, work also. Is this clear, Shabab? X double dash plus K over M, X is equal to uh, zero. Yes, clear, sir. Taib? Doctor. Yes, Sultan. Uh, Faris, here uh, in uh, MG, uh, when uh, you write uh, plus MG, W, uh, M, uh, X double dot plus MG, is it right? MG will be plus or negative? I'm writing it plus, and no, I'm, I'm taking this positive direction. The down direction is positive, and I push, I push my spring downward. So this is the positive direction, and mg is directed in the positive direction. Okay, so Sorry. when we, uh, when we uh, convert it to the other side, it should be negative also, right? And yeah, for this negative k, negative w. How will to find me? How will to find me? It says, uh, Newton's second law says sigma force 
is equal to mass times acceleration. You see my uh, handwriting on the left? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Gemma, sigma force. Gemma, all the forces here. What do you have? You have minus k delta plus x plus mg is equal to mx double dab. Oh, okay. Now, if you take this on the other side, it will be positive, but you already have minus k delta static plus mg is equal to zero. This will cancel. So now, Shabab, if you have any direction or any motion of this type, do not take into consideration mg. The anutroh ma static equilibrium. Mg will go with static equilibrium. Wadah? Okay. Yo. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. الدكتور معلش بس عندي مشكلة بسيطة. إن شاء الله. طيب بس أنا أريد أن أتحدث عن التنشيء خليك خليك معي. أريد أن أتحدث عن التنشيء. شوفوا السكرين شباب هنا. Yes, yes, we are seeing it. Okay, now شباب شوفوا السبرينج how this one will move. This is the type of spring that moves in the displacement of the spring. So, and I was, what I was talking, I was talking about this. This is the free length. This is the free length, okay? Now, if you want the uh, equilibrium, when I put a mass, you will see a knot of equilibrium. Shuf equilibrium, where is it? Man, shuf shi, doctor. Oh, you don't see the screen? And shuf al desktop, bas. And shuf al desktop, bas, ya, doctor. Ayo, degiga, degiga, bas. أنا I said share no. هي الحين دكتور نشوف سبرينج يتحرك. Okay good. Let me just yes yes okay. خلاص let me just حاول نحاول I will bring it back here. شوفوا هنا. You see this? لا بس شوف. شوفوا؟ No we don't we don't we don't. Okay let me give me just one minute شباب. I will try to arrange this one. لأنه في بعض الأحيان just you want you will see one thing. Just tell me when you see it. Just tell me what do you see. Now, clear. Doctor, we have to check the screen. Ah, clear. Okay. Great, great. So, if you look here now, and I am trying to remove the spring here, this is the free length of the spring. Min here, I learned the free length of the spring, as you can see. Now, if I bring a mass, I will show you the line. This is the mass of equilibrium. If I put a mass here, what will happen? What will happen to the spring, Shabab? This is what will happen. It will go down up to here. Because of the mass, it will go down up to here. This is called the equilibrium position. This is the, the equilibrium. The weight will be equal to the static deflection. Is this clear? Is this clear, Shabab? Now, if I pull this spring down a little bit, just a little bit down, I will put it here. I will try to push it a little bit down. Shuf, and but it had a spring. And you will see it when, between which point is moving, between this point and then this point. This is the static equilibrium point, which is here. This is what is the meaning of it. So when we find, differentiate the equation of motion we do not include the weight. The, you know, the weight will disappear with the uh, with the gravity. The weight will disappear with the static uh, equilibrium. Is this clear, Shabab? Halas, we move to something else. This is another thing. If you want. yes, Khabbaz, Father. Doctor, I have a question. If you go to the slide, Giga. بس قول لي سؤال قول لي سؤال قبل حد دكتور انت قلت ان اوميجا راح تختفي مع الستاتيك الحاله الستاتيك اي نيفر منشند اوميجا ما عندناش اوميجا هنا مو باوميجا دبليو والويت يا اوميجا از ذا ويت يا معلش دبليو والويت راح يختفي مع الحاله الستاتيك للسبرينج صح ولا لا اللي هو الكي اس او الدلتا ستاتيك طيب أه بس عندي مشكلة أن الطرف اليسار دكتور كان ام اكس دبل دوت 
لكن الفورس اللي انت اثرتها على الماس قبل شوي بولينج فورس ما هي ماس فورس تبعني تبعني فولو مي بليز فولو مي كان يو فولو مي بليز اي معك دكتور طيب. فهمت سؤالي إيه؟ دكتور انت حاول تفهمني اوكي فهمت سؤالك بس صراحه جاوبك الان حاول تفهمني ان شاء الله ناو شباب when the spring is here I just bring the pen is not working with me now. Yeah. We bring the spring and do length L naught. This is the length L naught. Now, when I put the mass, when I put the mass, the spring will have a length L naught plus delta. L naught plus delta. This is because of the mass. I put the mass in a sah. Now my free body diagram will be mg and k delta, the amount of elongation. Now this is a static equilibrium. ما في حركة ولا أي شيء بس حطيت الماس spring نزل amount m not. So if I write sigma force is equal to zero, and there is no motion. So if I take this, these two forces are equal and opposite. Mg is equal to k delta, and this is called the static equilibrium. Static equilibrium. Now I bring this the same amount, the same from the static equilibrium here. From the static equilibrium, I pull it a little down, a little down by x amount x. I will pull it a little bit down by an amount x. So if I draw my free body diagram here, now the force that I that is here in the spring will be k x plus delta, the yeah, no, amount this x plus this delta, and I will have mg here. Just follow me step by step. I'm doing it step by step. So here, if I write now sigma force total of of all forces is equal to m x double dash. Total forces now will be uh, minus, this is the positive direction because x is down, positive direction. So it will be minus k x plus delta is equal to mg. Wadah? Minus k x plus delta is equal to mg. Now, Shabab, I will... هذا الام دبل دوت الام اكس دبل دوت وش تقصد فيها؟ الماس تايمز اكسلريشن ذيس از نيوتن سكند لو ماس دكتور وين البولينج فورس؟ انا اي بول ات هير جست ذيس از انيشال كونديشن يو كان كول ات انيشال كونديشن ذيس از فري ريسبونس انيشال جست جيف انيشال ديسبليسمنت يو بول ات ليتل بيت داون انيشال ديسبليسمنت ذيس از انيشال ديسبليسمنت بيكوز اي ام تيلينج يو اكس اكس اي ام جيفينج انيشال ديسبليسمنت كولد اكس So minus k x plus delta is equal to mg, mass times the gravity. So now it will be this equation. I'm not. I will re rewrite it here. I will rewrite it here. Minus k. Minus k. X plus delta is equal to mg. Okay. Uh, sorry. Minus k x plus delta is equal to plus mg. Here we need to add plus mg. Plus mg is equal to mx double dash. This is what do we have. And this is the free body diagram. Your free body diagram was mg. This is uh, the x. You pull it little by down. And this is your free body diagram. K x plus delta. Now, let's write minus k x minus k delta plus mg is equal to mx double dot. Now this guy minus kx plus mg is equal to what? This is zero because it's static equilibrium. So we end up by having mx double dash plus kx is equal to zero. And this is the differential equation that is governing the free motion. Free motion, and it's zero at the end. There is no force. We we'll just give initial conditions. This is the mass, and this is the spring, the second order differential equation. 
that we obtained exactly like the one I showed you before. So remember, when you uh, when you have a pulling uh, down spring, the, you will not take the uh, effect of gravity because it will go with the static equilibrium. It will go with the static equilibrium. That's why we do not take it into consideration. And we end up having a differential equation of a second order system, mass times acceleration, plus stiffness times uh, displacement is equal to zero for the free response. If there was a force, the right hand side, the right hand side will be equal to a forcing term. So x double dash plus k over m x is equal to zero. This is your equation of motion. You can write it in standard form like this: x double dash plus omega square n is equal to zero, where omega n is equal to k over m is known as the natural frequency of the system, which is in radian per second. So don't take the mg into consideration. Now, if we take the, uh, if we take, Sultan, you have something to say? Sultan Lawad. Now, if we take Shababhina, Laplace transform of both sides of this equation, this is the second order or the differential equation. If we take Laplace transform for it or for this one, it's the same thing. We will take, we will say S square X of S minus S X zero minus X dot of zero plus omega square and X is equal to zero. Now, if we have X of S common and X of S common, we rearrange and solve for X of S, we will find the following. We will find X of S is equal S X zero plus X dot zero over S square plus omega square N. Now, if we solve this, if we solve this equation, we will find that we have two poles, S is equal plus or minus J omega N, you know, it's complex. So if we draw the poles, if you draw the poles on the complex plane, you will have plus J omega N is here and minus J omega N is here. These are the two poles, you know. So if you, if you now look for the response, what is the response X of T? Usually you now we look for the response what will be the response x of t. I guess that now everybody can know what will be the response of this one by taking the inverse Laplace transform of this. Now we, uh, this is our equation. We just write this term, this term here, which is the first term here. We multiply by omega n and divide by omega n. And we write this term here as x zero times s over s squared plus omega n squared. So this will give you the first term will give you x naught over omega n here, x naught over omega n. This is nothing but it is the sine omega n t. And x times s over s squared plus omega squared n, this is nothing but it is cosine omega n t. x zero cosine omega n t. Where here x zero is the initial displacement, x dot zero is the initial velocity. If you draw your response, it will be something like this one. If any one of these is zero, Methelen, if you have x zero is equal to zero, you will have a sine term. If you have the original velocity zero, you will have a cosine term, x zero cosine term. So, for example, if we take x is dot zero is equal to zero, this term will be zero. So we end up by having x naught cosine omega nt. This will give you Shebabhina x naught, the original uh, position, and the slope will be here. In this equation, if we let it like this, this is x dot naught, the slope is here. The slope is this one at this point. So this is the original value x naught, you know, which is this one, at time t is equal to zero. And this is the slope at time t is equal to zero. Well, Shabab? Is it clear, Shabab? So this is the solution for this second order differential equation. Sometimes it's called the simple harmonic motion because it includes the harmonics of omega n square. The period, since it is a simple harmonic motion, we uh, calculate the period to be two pi over omega n. The period, as all of you, you know, it is the time for the motion to repeat itself, the time for the motion to repeat itself. For example, if you take from this point here 
I will go through the motion with the motion up to here. Now this is called one period because after that it will repeat itself. The frequency of a periodic motion is the number of cycle per uh, second, per unit time. For example, here now, if we have a motion like this one, and from here to here, this is uh, one cycle, from here to here, this is the second cycle, third cycle, fourth cycle, and then fifth cycle. So this is in one second, one second. So the number of cycle per second is five. So from here, one cycle, two cycle, three, four, five. So here F is equal to five cycles per second, which means the number of cycles per second. So uh, what is the period here, Shabab? The period here will be what? If this is one second, one second, one second. So the period will be one over F. The period will be uh, one over F or F will be one over period. If F is equal to five cycles, F is equal to five cycles. The period will be tau will be one over five or 0.2 second, 0.2 second, 0.2 second. So the period from here to here, tau will be 0.2 second, 0.2 second. You know, the total for five uh, cycles in one second. So the period is only one second. Okay, Shabab. Omega n, the three relations between the period, the frequency, and the natural frequency are related like this. T is equal to 2 pi over omega n. F will be 1 over tau or omega over 2 pi. And omega n is 2 pi fn. It's given by the uh, natural constant, which is k over m. This is known as the natural frequency. The units for this one is uh, radian per second, as you know, radian per second. The units for the period is sec tau, tau is per second. And this one, sometimes it's written hertz or cycle per, per second or one over second. I will write it again here. So the period for F, the period for uh, the uh, units for F is either one over second or hertz or sometimes it's called also cycle per second cps cycle per second any uh, question shabab any question any question so in the previous example we did not take the damper uh, the damping now, if we take the damping and we draw the free body diagram, still here, the system will uh, elongate for static deflection, and then uh, we will uh, have the static deflection, and then we add the damper, and then we will see our equation of motion. Now, if we draw the free body diagram here, the forces that are present, the, uh, the force on the spring, which is opposing the motion, and the force on the damper, which is opposing also the motion, they are like this. And if we add Newton second law, or if we write Newton second law for this system, we will have sigma force is equal mass times acceleration. We sum up the left-hand side, or what are the forces acting on the system. We have minus, because it's the, uh, the opposite direction, bx dash, minus kx, because it's in the opposite direction of the motion. So this will be equal to mx double dot. And this is my equation of motion mx double dash plus bx dot plus kx is equal to zero. It's again a, a mathematical model for a mass spring damper system, second order because it has the second derivative, and it is damped motion because this is the damping motion. If the damping is not there, we will get the previous equation that is mx double dash plus kx. But because of the presence of the damping, the damping is appearing in as Bx dash the damping plays the role of the of the uh, friction. So this is the equation of motion. Now, if we just uh, want to solve this equation for the free vibrational motion, we have the uh, we give a value of the mass for the damping and for the stiffness, 
So this turns out to be 0.1x double dash plus 0.4x dash plus 4x is equal to zero. This is, of course, since we have zero here and here, it's free response that is due to the initial conditions that are here. x0 is equal to x0 and x dot zero is equal to zero. So we are putting x dot zero is equal to zero. And this equation, if you divide by 0.1, if you divide 0.1, it turns out to be x double dash plus 4x dot plus 40x is equal to zero, which is a second order ordinary differential equation. We have seen how to solve this one in chapter two in Laplace transform. To solve it, just take the Laplace transform of both sides. You will end up by having S x square uh, s square x of s minus s x zero minus x dot zero plus four s x of s minus x of zero this is laplace transform of the uh, derivative first derivative this is laplace transform of the second derivative and then plus 40 laplace transform of x of s if you take x of s common x of s common x of s common and you solve for x of s you end up by having this equation s x is zero plus 4x0 plus s dot plus 4s plus 40. Now we can write it also in this form. We take s x0 out. It will be, uh, we take x0 common between this and this. It will be s plus 4 over s plus 4s plus 40. Or you can divide, because x0 here is the input, Shabab, the initial displacement that you give. You can divide the output x of s over the input. Now the input we give, and you can write it like this, s plus 4 over s squared plus 4s plus 4. It can be rearranged like this. We usually, in system dynamics and control, we are interested in what is the input and what is the output. If the input is x0, the output will be this one. And your transfer function, this is called transfer function, that gives the relationship between the output and the input. The transfer function is the relationship between the output and the input. Now, simply, we try to solve the equation. If we solve this equation, we got this, we got this equal to zero. And this equation, as you can see, we can complete the square. We can complete the square just by writing 40. We can write it 4 plus 36. 4 plus 36. And this term here, we can write it as s plus 2 the whole square. So s plus 2 the whole square plus 6 square will give you 36. Now, if you solve it, you will have your poles are minus 2 and plus or minus j6. So this one is s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus j6. Now we write it in the similar way. We write s plus 2, s plus 4 here now. We substitute it by plus 2 and plus 2. We take s plus 2 over s plus 2 square alone, and then plus 2 over this term. So we end up by having here an equation. Uh, this equation will be simply s plus 2 over. You take the inverse Laplace transform. It will be x0. So this is x0. Exponential minus 2t because it is shifted with time with 2. And it is a cosine term, s over s squared plus 6 squared. So this one, we have six here now. I want to introduce six. So I will multiply by six and divide by six. If I multiply by six and divide by six, I will have here six. And we'll have here six and we have two, so it will be three. So it will be one over three exponential minus two t sine 60. So this, this equation is simply the response for your uh, system when we have the damping. We can simplify, I will show you later on, how we can simplify a cosine term with a sine term is in only one equation containing either sine or cosine. So this, at the end of the day, this will be 10, square root of 10 over three, x naught exponential minus 2t sine 60 plus 71 point 56. The response will be a decaying response because of the exponential minus 2t. The response will look something like this. I will explain this, inshallah, in the next lecture. We will start Next lecture from this solution. Wada Shabab, any question? Next lecture, inshallah, we will start by the giving you the uh, response how it looks like this. Uh, any question?
So let me just take the attendance and I wish you a very nice weekend, wherever you are or wherever you stay, wish you a very nice weekend. مين الشباب اللي راهم معنا اليوم العلوة موجود حمونير أهلا وسهلا بغالبي بغالبي أهلا وسهلا المسعودي العزيز سعودي كيف حالك المولى ماجد موجود المولى موجود أهلا وسهلا شباب بليز if I pronounce any student spelling wrong please correct yeah. I am sure I am pronouncing it right. Al Muhammadi Abdul Aziz. Muhammadi, mashallah, I'm not worried. I'm in the nazar of the show. Al Yahya. Allah is telling me. Al Yahya. Abbas. Abbas. Al Yahya Abbas. Are you here with us today or not? طيب شكله ما هو موجود اليوم القحطاني عبد الكريم أهلين عبد الكريم الشهري علي أهلين شهري علي كيف حالك الرميح هاني هاني الرميح الرميح اليوم ما هو مبين الويكند ظاهر شكله أخذ عطلة مبكرة القرني علي القرني علي أهلين علي زهراني فارس موجود أهلين فارس كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله طيب كيف حالك؟ حمدان عبد العزيز الله يبارك فيك حمدان عبد العزيز أهلا وسهلا شريدة محمد أهلا وسهلا أهلا وسهلا شريدة محمد حاضر العجمي مبارك مبارك موجود مبارك كيف حالك؟ قليحي يوسف 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 أعرض عن هذا يا يوسف موجود دكتور موجود أهلا وسهلا الزاير حسان الزاير حسان حسان كيفك يا حسان؟ الجهني نادر أهلا وسهلا نادر منور منور العاقيل رائد العاقيل رائد موجود يا دكتور 